my god guys mark henry mark henry is making his debut he's going to be commentating on aew this friday i think believe they said and also on aw rampage this this was really unexpected guys and a, an absolutely amazing show uh with for aw uh double or nothing tonight mark henry coming out showing up that's gonna apparently be on commentary for the new aw show second show that's going to be airing in august aw rampage was was just absolutely surprising i mean my goodness i did not see this coming especially since it wasn't too long ago that I seen Mark Henry in the WWE. And I mean, when you want to talk about big jump shifts to AEW, Paul White, the big show, Paul White, you know, was one of the biggest that you can get considering he spent over 15 years, actually, no, not 15, 22 years um, in the WWE. And then you had Christian Cage who recently came to AEW at the last pay-per-view, AEW Revolution. Now you have Mark Henry, who is now coming to AEW. I mean, this this just really came out of nowhere. We've seen Leo Rush, who was apparently the surprise entrance at uh, in the Casino Battle Royal. I know a lot of people probably thought it was going to be like Danny O'Brien or maybe Samoa Joe or somebody else that recently got released. But, of course, Danny didn't get released, but... um. You know, he's just taking some time off. I know a lot of people thought it was expecting someone else, but, I mean, Leo Rush was a pretty interesting surprise to have him show up in the Casino Battle Royale as a surprise entrance. But, my goodness, Mark Henry. Mark Henry of all freaking people, the world's strongest man. I did not see this coming. My God, I got to say this, this to me was surprising because even if this was revealed on the dirt sheet, even if this was some rumor that I didn't know about, I didn't see anything hinting about Mark Henry coming to AEW. So to see him come out, even though he didn't come out for that long, even though at that point when he showed up, you could tell that they were trying to, you know, finish up the show. So they quickly announced that he was going to be on the new AEW show, Aaron, in August. And this, um, and I believe also he was going to be commentating this Friday on the, the episode of AEW this Friday. And then they just kept it going. But to have him come out was just surprising to me because, like I said, I really didn't even know he was in talks with AEW. I didn't know he was going to show up for AEW. So this this was a present surprise to me and just an amazing night. You know, um, man. Wow, for Mark Henry to come out, he, he had, you just had so many matches. Britt Baker, you got, you got, um, you know, you got one new champ in Britt Baker who defeated Sheeta after holding the belt for about a, for a year at this point, for over a year, um, held the belt for about 370 something days. And now she loses to Britt Baker. And Britt Baker, you know, has just been on the roll ever since that Lights Out match that she had with um, Thunder Rosa back at uh, St. Patrick. Uh, it was A.W. St. Patrick back in uh, March. And she's just been on a, on a roll ever since. And an absolutely amazing match between the two, which, of course, she did, you know, use some tactics to, to you know, to go against Sheeta, but ultimately Sheeta ended up tapping out at the end, and now Britt Baker is the new AEW Women's Champion. That was just an amazing match. Uh, match at night for me definitely, you know, was a triple threat match with Kenny Omega, Orange Cassidy, and um, Pac. I mean, th this match was just absolutely incredible. Um, you know, Orange Cassidy actually had this match won. In several occasions, especially when he knocked both guys out with the orange punch, and then Don Callis knew that he had the match won, which is why he came out and stopped them from making from the pen, which ultimately led to, you know, um, Pac then going after Orange Cassidy, and Kenny comes back in the ring. He stops Pac from uh, 
from having Orange Cassidy in his submission. And then, you know, from there, it just gets even more crazy because then, you know, Kenny eventually knocks the ref out. And then the next ref, Ari Edwards, she comes out. And um, then she's, she's refing the match. And next thing you know, he, you know, he clocks Pac multiple times with the belt. Um, then Orange Cassidy gets back up, hit him with the the orange punch again he tries to go for the pin but then you know kenny manages to reverse it to a crucifix pin and retain the belt after some help with the, from don Callis, who uh really saved him from ringside but this this was because he he tried to hit the one wicked angel multiple times on Pac and uh, orange cassie and he just wasn't able to do it they managed to counter especially Pac managed to counter it um and multiple occasions. So I, I thought it was interesting that he did he did not hit the one legged angel during this match, and um, you know barely survived. And so that that was a phenomenal match between those three. The Canadian Stampede match to end off the night. Shockingly, um, the Inner Circle defeated. Uh, <laughs> shockingly, the Inner Circle actually defeated the Pinnacle in a really amazing match. And it was Sammy Guevara that got the pin for the team. You know, who ended up pinning Sean Spears out the stump of his head through the through a uh you know a steel a steel chair. Uh, a lot of insane things went on here. You know, Chris and MJF had a, a lot of exchanging, beating the heck out of each other. Uh Jack Hager Jack Hager and Warlow had a lot of distinguished beating the heck out of each other. I can only assume that there, there's, there must, there's probably going to be some rubber match between these two factions. I only say this because you know if this, if this was, if this actually kept Inner Circle together, which I for sure thought that this was going to mark the end of the Inner Circle because I always thought that you know at this point. They've been together long enough to the point where, you know, someone like a Sammy who even showed it in this match, you know, he, him going solo, you know, I don't think it would hurt him at all. I mean, the guy is just absolutely amazing. I don't see why he particularly, you know, I mean, you could still have them together. He could still chase after singles to gold, like the TNT championship or something. But, you know, I, I just, um, I just thought that was interesting, but I do think if that if by them having the inner circle win since they recently lost in their blood and guts match, I'm thinking they're gonna have a rubber match at some point between these two teams to kind of set the score once and for all since they're one and one. We'll see how that goes. So that was an interesting choice, you know. Oh man. But, you know, aside from that match, which I I thought was a good way to end the show. Like I said, the triple threat match between Kenny, Orange Cassidy, and Pac was definitely the match tonight for me. Uh, Britt Baker and um, Sheeta was a was a really good match. I really enjoyed it. Uh, you know, it was a big moment for Britt Baker. She finally won the AEW Women's Championship. Um, you know, the night I should kicked off with Adam Page and Brian and Brian Cage, I did not get to see the end of that match, but I would assume that Adam Page won if someone knows who actually won that match correctly because I did not get to see it because the way my internet was acting while watching it, uh, but uh, the way my TV was acting, excuse me, while watching it, but and I was not able to see the, Eddie, the Young Bucks match with Eddie Kingston and uh, John Moxley either, so I can't really say anything about that match, but for what I did see, you know, those matches stood out to me um, most definitely. You know, the Lance Archer and Merrill match was really good for what it was. Really, you know, Lance Archer took it to Merrill to start off the match, and ultimately Merrill made Lance pass out to the game over, and he retained the team, team, uh, team championship. So, like I said, most titles were retained here. It was only the uh, AEW women's title that actually changed hands with most titles. Uh, you know, actually stayed at the hands of the original champion. So I just really just want to come on here and specifically, you know, break up the Mark Henry thing along with everything else. Jungle Boy actually won the Casino Battle Royal, which I thought was incredible. It came down to him and Christian Cage. I thought Christian Cage at first was going to win, but it, but surprisingly, Jungle Boy, and this is the second time that we've seen Jungle Boy, you know, manage to get a major title opportunity 
You know, he recently faced Derby Allen when Derby Allen was the TNT champion in a really amazing match between the two. And now he's getting that future title opportunity against Kenny Omega for the AEW Championship. And even though there's, it's he's likely not going to win the match, it's still going to be a you know a phenomenal. I could uh, I could still see it being an, a really great performance by Jungle Boy Jack Perry. So this was this was just amazing. I like the way that they uh, did this, the way that they uh, ended up the match and Jungle Boy. The crowd was just going amazing. That's another thing I just want to quickly say. The crowd was just you know, red hot, you know, having that crowd, that energy, you could tell that everybody was just feeding off of it. Everybody was just, they just was so glad the crowd was, the full crowd was finally back. And you could really see it here uh, in this match here. Like I said, uh, Leo Rush actually made his debut in um, the Casino Battle Royale. But Mark Henry, though, that really, <laughs> that, uh, like I said, that surprised me. Oh my God, um, man, what a night, guys! A lot of lot of things to say something about, but this was definitely a crazy night. So start off pretty much the flicks. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to go as deep as I would like. It's already really late, but um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Mark Henry, guys, is now in AEW. Did not see that coming. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll talk to you guys. Peace.